Africanism. Yeah. So joining to Pan-Africanism just basically me uh, reviewing the idea of Pan-Africanism to really understand what it, what it is, the impact it has on the Black community, and if it's really a something of that has any significance, you understand me? So, you know, you know, yeah. sometimes we Black people take on ideas we don't really understand, and we're not really questioning it, if it's impacting our daily life, you understand me? So the idea of Pan-Africanism has been around, I don't know, I think before I even I was, before I was born. So, and, but we never really questioned what is Pan-Africanism? What is it doing to help African people? Because look at African people in Africa. What is Pan-Africanism at the end of the day? What is it helping? It's not helping our people. So mm -hmm. if Pan-Africanism is basically a, a, an idea that is yeah. just thrown around because of, uh, we want to get some sort of recognition or some sort of proud or pride, in, right. you know, within within black community. It's it's something that we have to kind of revalue and 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 ask ourselves the question: What is Pan Africanism at the end of the day? How is Pan Africanism changing the lives of African people? And if we don't mm -hmm. find an answer to that, that means we shouldn't be using the word Pan Africanism. And when you see a lot of Africans in diaspora, they talked about how they are Pan-Africanists, right? But when you look at the behavior towards African behavior towards the people of color, you can ask yourself, like, where is Pan-Africanism? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So that, that's just basically, basically is to revalue those, those, those ideas and see how it's impacting African life, really. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah.